Hello everybody, Skylander Xeon here, and welcome to another first portal drop. Today, we've got a trap. More specifically, we've got the Riot Shield Shredder trap. So, this was the last villain variant I needed, and it was $15, which is a pretty good deal. So, as you can see, it's in box, but traps are useless in box, so just... That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. So let's just take this out of the plastic, which is the harder part, but there you go. Riot Shield Shredder acquired. Now I've got both Life Torch traps and, well, let's put it in the portal and get our villain variant. So we've got Snapshot just as a basic Skylander because, I mean, we can't just use a villain, but we're gonna be using Riot anyways because uh, that's kind of what the video's about. So, yeah. Shield Shredder. Let's go, Serenity! So, there you go. This arena and, yeah, we're just gonna be doing an arena challenge, whatever. But, okay, let's grab this first. Uh, assuming we can. There you go. Uh, wait. Okay, there you go. Riot Shield Shredder was first given out at E3 2014, which technically, this was the first time that a character was given out before its game release. It could be an argument made for the E3 trio of Spyro, Trigger Happy, and Gilgrunt in single packs, but those were only given out to certain press members rather than every attendee of the event. So Riot really did make a big change for the E3 variants as a whole. In fact, he's the first in-game variant for the E3 characters, the second being, well, E3 Hot Streak, obviously. But as you can see, as a villain, he's only got two moves, but we will be showing those off as soon as we can, because uh, villains have timers, and that's not the most fun thing in the world. So first we've got a shield dash, which does a decent amount of damage, and then we have to we have to wait a bit. But yeah, it luckily being a basic villain that's not very special, we don't have to wait too long to call back Shield Shredder as we would with most Doom Raiders and stuff like that. Anyways, for our second attack, we've got some shields that just, like, obviously they block damage, and whenever you're ready, you can switch to your character and just go for ranged attacks. But, yeah, overall, as a villain, Shield Shredder is not one of my favorites, really, but I do like this variant a lot. I really like the red in, I guess, brown color scheme, even if the red is the only real change here. But I'm glad to have the final villain variant added to my collection. And, in fact, now I'm only missing one E3 variant as a whole, which, uh... What I get next will be revealed in a future video, sure, but, yeah. Thanks for watching, and peace out.